Hello, and welcome back to our filtration video series. Today we will cover a low pressure filtration system and also go over some of the pros and cons. So when we refer to a low pressure pond filtration system, many would call this a canister filter or an external pond filter. There are many types of these filters on the market, but today we're going to focus on the PondMax brand. Many of these low pressure pond filter systems are used in conjunction with a semi-solids handling pond pump. This pump is designed with a large screen that is very hard to clog and any particles that can go through the screen get pumped up to the filter which is outside the pond. Most of these filtration systems offer three stages of filtration. For example, the PondMax filter utilizes a sponge filtration system as the first stage of filtration. The water enters the filter, goes through the sponges, and down to the bottom. In the bottom of the filter is a bio ball chamber. The bio media offers biological filtration for your water. Then, as the water exits the filter through the center tube, it passes a UV lamp which gives the final polish to your pond water. As the water exits the filter, you can pump it up to a waterfall or straight back into your pond. It's very simple to maintain this filter on a regular basis. To do a normal backwash, first you turn off your pump. Next, you change the position of the side port valve to the open position. Then turn the backwash valve to the backwash position. This reverses the flow of the water through the filter. Then turn your pump back on and as the water is discharging out of your backwash port, you simply turn the handle to, dis to squeeze the sponges and remove any excess debris. Now let's go over some of the pros and cons. First, this filtration system is very easy to backwash. Then, as you noticed, it comes with a UV. It is also very versatile in the way that you can install it and then hide it. It's easy to install and it's the best value for your money. As far as some of the not so good features of this filtration system, you might find that you still need to do a pond cleaning once a year. Also, it cannot be used with high pressure pumps. And for those of you that live in very cold areas, you will need to winterize this filter by removing the lid in the winter. Lastly, there is a few more moving parts than other filtration systems. Thanks again for tuning in to the low pressure pond filtration video. These are also used very well in conjunction with water walls and fountains.